A huge thank you to Paul and Karen at Lane Ford Mandara for the exceptional service in the purchase of our new Ford Ranger. Welcome back to the channel and this is the reveal of our new Ford uh, Ranger Sport that will be the fourth Ranger in, in our family. Um, for those of you that don't know us, I'm Stefan and my wife Bristol from the Digital Life uh, Adventures. Come along, we're on our way to Fremantle to the guys of Ironman to go and have a look at some of their products that we want to incorporate into our build. Come along for the ride. Well, good afternoon. We are here with the guys from Sharp 4x4, I'm an experts, and uh, I'm going to introduce you to you. My name's Rob, and I'm Rob. They're going to take us through the canopies and camper setups, and let's see uh, what they can do for us for the Ranger. So we've got the K camper, which is a slide-on drive-off unit. Uh, you put your legs bolted on, wind it up, take the car straight out of it a four sleeper, so two people up in the tent and uh, two kids down the bottom. Uh, we've got a diesel hot water system and air con unit. Uh, we've got 200 amp hours of lithium in this unit, uh, 65 liter dual zone fridge, more storage than you can throw sock at. And around this side, we've got a fully kitted kitchen as well, which can be accessed from the inside too. Um, comes with the 270 degree awning, comes with the shower, 
uh, even a shower base for it as well. It's a very well discount system. This is Someone's out there making, you know, making dinner, whatever it is. You can sit here and talk to them. You can access everything from the inside. If it's raining, you don't have to get the car to, to make a coffee. You can do it. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, storage galore. Obviously, when this is down, all of this room is accessible for filling the gear. Uh, they also make these boxes here, uh, these storage spaces for ammo boxes, uh, which they sell as well. Which you can then fill with just more and more gear. Yeah. Uh, which, you know, more storage and all the gear. Sections here. Pretty much all the stuff. Wherever there's room, there's, there's a lot of room. What is underneath there? Your fridge? Yeah, so this is your fridge. So that box pops up. You've got access to the, the iBed 65 inch open fridge. Cold, there's unfortunately no beers in there. Um, yeah, you've got access to everything from there. As I was saying, this turns into another bed as well. It's a piece that comes out, sits on here. Set that up in a minute for you. No, no, we are, we're just a couple travelling, so we're not interested oh, no, in the right. second That's bed. Okay. So your um, other bed's up there. Yes. So simple as pull up, pull down on that. That comes down. You then crawl up, and this little essentially hatch is where your where your head would go. Uh, yeah. Lots of room in this one. You know, compared to the um, compared to the canopy camper, compared to the. Um, just the, the 3.1 uh, gen Aricap 10. Yeah. A lot more room in this. A little bit, little bit more length, but more, more width as well. Come have a look here. Are you ready for date night? <laughs> you gotta sit, have a nice meal, play cards, move it out of the way when you're ready to go. That's right now. Which is nice. Um, Spare sink top. Good in you. And sink. I wonder if she's full of water, bro. Didn't trust his kids when he took it away on the weekend. So, this is what they push backwards to basically make it that four sleeper bed. Yeah. Oh, you use it bed. for specking space. Plenty of storage space. Uh, nice this place to access as well. You've got all storage spots down either side. Perfect for the front runner director's chair, is what it was built for. Okay. Uh, those South African brands keeping the love with each other. Um, so you've got your air vents on the side here. We've got a um, 12 volt monitor as well. And all your air controls on the side. Uh, don't start. Um, yeah, so nice and easy to get in there. Got a diesel tank there, smart charger. So plug it into 240 volt to charge away. I know. Comes with a little pump, obviously, get the diesel up there. Uh, Paddle power. There it goes. Let's do a shower tank up there. Yeah. With the shower tank. We do have the base on the door as well, so that will be Gas bottle storage point there. Leave a gas bottle for your foot around. This is definitely set up for touring, right? Oh, yeah. You're underneath your 270 awning, you've got access to whatever you may need, access to your dry foods, access yeah. inside, pretty much complete. So it means that you can really... The idea is you can live out of this. This is home. 
Yeah. You can leave for two weeks or a couple of months. Definitely. You don't need to go anywhere else. You've got to really pay attention to where you're putting it. Yeah. It's about about that thick. So, so it's a sturdy thing. thing, it's not a wonky little thing. No, that's no, no. Very, very sturdy, designed to be able to hold the weight when it's full. You know, when it's dry, it's going to be really easy. You can pull it off, it's not going to be moving around at all. Yeah. Load it up, so still you can take just it Jack it up a bit. Correct, it's literally just got winding. So there's one on each corner, okay. um, and it's literally just bolted mm -hmm. on, make sure it's all tied, lift it off, drive the car out, lower it down, get it as low as possible so you're not going to have any yeah. issues with it wobbling around yeah. if it's being stored for months on end. So the wind blows it or whatever. Yeah, whatever that may be. In saying that, we do not recommend leaving this setup as a camp base. Yeah, how you cab doesn't yeah. doesn't recommend it because that at the end sense. of the day you've got 700 kilos on yeah. four points. Yeah, yeah. You chuck a couple of people in there. No, no, it's a lot of weight. It's a lot of weight. We sell this car in three years' time. We buy a Ranger, it goes on a Ranger. We decide we want a Ram, it goes on a Ram. How much weight on this? This is about 700. So dry, no fridge, water tanks empty, yeah. 400. You load it up, pretty much how it is now, 700. Okay. Leak just under. Uh, close to 700. A very big thank you to Rowan and Rob at Shop 4x4 for the Alucab Kaya Camper walkthrough.